fellow gamers and I'm playing Fortnite Save the World and in this video I'm going to be doing the Red Willow's Eve quest line and uh, the quest Silent Night and it is for a new Outlander which is Red Willow uh, but I'll actually go through um, her abilities and everything later on in the video so um, what I have to do in this the table is set and the piece plans are in in motion time to light the candles and let the terrible Christmas unfold so we have to light Christmas candles throughout the land and we have to light nine of them. Hopefully we can do it in the one mission. Uh, I'll just show you what loadout I'm actually going to be using for this mission. I'm going to be using Swamp Knight, who, as you can see, I have supercharged to the max. Uh, Trick and Treat perk, because his uh, Phantasm's brilliant. Survivalist. Corrosive Strikes. Battle Beat from the depths and Monster Smash. And if you do want to actually read uh, what each of these uh, perks does, you just have to uh, to pause the video. And uh, stationary have a turret and adrenaline rush as my gadgets. So uh, let's go and do a mission. What I found is you can do pretty much all of these. Um, missions in this in this in this quest line in eliminate and Clex. Um, just remember to actually um, pin the mission like right there you just press um, R3 to, to pin it and um, when you do that you'll be able to see what you know which mission you can actually complete it in but eliminate and Clex are the, the 10 minute missions they're quick so that's the reason why I tend to either choose these or resupply, but more often than not, I usually go for the uh, eliminate and collect because it's, uh, it's just killing enemies and uh, really quick. Um, all of these missions, like I says you, you, you can you can do them in in the eliminate and collect. Apart from one of them, you have to have to uh, rescue six survivors, and I just uh, did that in a normal rescue the survivor mission because uh, normally there's only maybe two or three survivors on a map, on a normal map, so, you know, it would take a couple of normal missions just to rescue enough survivors to, uh, to complete that one. Looks like we could be on our own as well. Not to worry. You know, it doesn't matter which level you eliminate to collect you do. You know, the, the lower the better, really, because it, it, it's easier. So if you used to do it in um, Plankton or Stonewood, it would be, you know, so easy for, for you to complete. Whereas the higher up, it, up you go, it's uh, you have to kill more enemies and uh, collect more of the samples. And I have sort of written down a, a loadout I'm going to try after after I get to whether it will work or not. I don't know, but uh, we'll give it a go. I have heard that uh, her ability is a little on the weak side, shall we say. So that's uh, not great, but um, there is a way you can sort of boost her ability a bit. And I will I'll go through that a bit later on. means I'll have to uh, replace my current um, Outlander loadout. I have the one at the moment. I think I've got about three ninja loadouts. Two constructor ones. Uh, two soldiers, I think. We've got an opportunity to strike an approaching horde. Get ready for a fight. We've got 10 minutes to take out as many husks as possible. If you bag enough husks, we win. If you don't, we don't. Don't forget to collect those husk and mist monster samples. Oh, I haven't got time for that, Ray. I've got to do this mission. Sorry. It's funny. Even with trying 
to intentionally make a bad Christmas, I can't help but feel a little... Happy? I was gonna say not completely depressed by the world's horrors, but... Yeah, I guess. Maybe you're just not trying hard enough then. Jeez, crack shot, warn a guy next time. <laughs> Sorry, I just can't resist a good Yuletide surprise. It is quite amusing this quest line, I must, must admit. Quite enjoyed this one. I could just stand. This is the only hero that you can actually stand in amongst the bees and still kill things without moving. Hate the bees! What a pain. Uh, we need to look for uh, there's one over here we need nine of them fingers crossed it's just one mission and not two so what's the matter people not miserable enough too much holiday cheer no uh, it's complicated I thought we wanted to have a horrible Christmas which we definitely are speaking of I got your pantry though thanks for that but seeing everyone together, celebrating, still gives me a bit of a warm feeling, you know? Oh, I know all about warm feelings. <laughs> <laughs> Ew, something wet just hit my arm. Right, 80, we need 200. I think in Stonewood it's only a, you only need a hundred. You need double in um, Canny Valley. Handy way to get up because you don't need to actually build. Could just stand here and emote and kill him. See? <laughs> this is great swamp night. Right, let's uh, try and look a bit more of the map and see if we can find some more of these. Uh, we're going to have to kill a bit on the way. Yep, yeah, there's another one there on the mini map. We should keep an eye out on the mini map for mission objectives. You can miss him. Oh, missed completely then. It's like half two in the morning that I'm recording this. So we're uh, quite late. I didn't even know there was going to be a, a new quest line until after the uh, the update. I was like, oh, better check. And then I noticed that. Uh, Brand new quest line. Right, we need five more samples. Two more samples. There's one down here somewhere. ignore the rest of these now because we've um, actually completed the mission itself. Five left. We just have to find uh, 
Some more candles. There's one over here. So what's the problem then, little robot? Didn't you want you and everybody else to feel miserable? No, maybe. No, oh, I don't know. It just feels like we all deserved a terrible Christmas. Oh, you wanted your just desserts. A little figgy pudding flagellation. I don't know what bothers me worse. You're freezing, or the idea that you might be right. It's in there, I think. Or maybe upstairs. Yeah, here we go. Listen, Ray. I know things haven't exactly turned out the way you wanted. Believe me, this isn't how I was hoping to spend Christmas, uh, most of this year, either. And it can be real tempting to constantly look for new ways to make yourself miserable. But if you're having a real, actual moment of being, uh, what did you call it? Not completely depressed by the world's horrors? Then cut yourself some slack and embrace it. Because some days, those moments are harder to find than others. Yes, like one-legged snow rabbits in a blizzard. Poor things get stuck <laughs> in the drifts. And one legged snow said. rabbits yeah. in a blizzard. Really cut shot. Maybe you guys are right. Maybe instead of focusing on best Christmases, worst Christmases, or any of that crap, we should just focus on the fact that everyone oh, out here tries to said crap. Hello? Hello? If anyone can hear my voice, I am trapped in a small, dark space. Uh, broom closet, Dennis. Dobbs by your left butt cheek. What? Uh, 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 oh, uh, uh, I am free! <laughs> Honest to goodness, Christmas miracle! Well, we're out here trying, at least. One behind. And maybe that's worth celebrating. Or at least worth feeling not completely depressed by the world's horrors. Ooh, I'm putting that on the greeting card. Or at least a nog koozie. Oh, I stand in that bunker a bit. I should tell Ted. Ted? Hey, Ted, if you want to really go for it with that reboot thingy this Christmas. No, no, I blew it, Ray. Really blew it. I got myself so wrapped around the Lorax, so I can't even remember what if this was good. Oh, the bees are a pain because you can't actually. I don't have a great toy line, a bad toy line. Just a whole bunch of nothing. Oh, that's okay. We're not doing terrible Christmas anymore, or... Can't open chests to do the mission objective. You know, well, pick things up. I guess that's the kind of lukewarm sentiment I can emotionally get behind right now. Mm -hmm. Here's to a whatever Christmas. Ooh, we completed well, it. Looks like so. the has finished lighting all the candles. People are going to be opening awful presents and wanting to tear up their fingernails at dinner anytime now. You're doing just fine, little robot. Even if everything else is a complete mess. I want you to remember that. No promises, but I'll do my best. You always do. Have a Christmas, Ray. Have a Christmas, Lars. A terrible Christmas to all, and to all... Uh, whatever, I guess. It's a bit strange how I think of it. Everything okay? Oh, yeah. it should finish though. I guess I'm Speak happy for this. everyone. But I feel kind of empty, you know? It must be hard knowing the best thing you can do for your friends leads to you being alone. Yeah. You saved our lives. I guess. Sorry we won't be joining you in the afterlife. I thought I didn't want any company over here. But I think it's going to be hard going to home alone tonight. Well, if it makes you feel better, things keep up this way. We'll be seeing you before too long. Thanks, Ray. That does make me feel better. That makes one of us. Merry Terrible Christmas, Ray. Merry Terrible Christmas, Willow. See you soon. Hopefully not too soon. Yeah, it just seems a bit strange that um, Epic have released this sort of Christmassy quest line after Christmas and not before Christmas, which uh, doesn't quite make sense, but uh, there you go.
What can you do? <laughs> Well, that wasn't too difficult. As I said, the quickest way to do it is usually in eliminate and collect missions, because they're only 10 minute missions. And I think there was only one of those missions where it took two. Um, I had to find um, presents and I think it was eight presents and I only found six in one mission. Well, I did find a seventh, but the mission ended just before I found it but it didn't matter anyway because I, I knew I had to do another one to get the uh, the final presence anyway so we have a new hero and she's she is a new hero she has a new ability and uh, she's not actually the same as um, as the, as a normal willow <coughs> Because she has um, different abilities. Well, Commander, just like that, another year's gone. Crazy, right? I don't know where you thought you'd be right now, but I... Well, I have no idea what I thought I'd be doing, but it wasn't this. At least we're both here, though. That's pretty cool. So, whether you celebrate Christmas, Hanukkah, something else, or nothing at all, cut yourself a little slack. We're all doing our best. And that's not too terrible. Maybe Epic Chuck this uh, quest in because of, you know, what, what's been happening in the world currently. Um, I won't actually say the name because you can get your, your video demonetized by just mentioning it, that uh, the C word. And I don't mean the sweary C word, I mean, you know what I mean. So here we go, we've got Red Willow. Have a very scary holiday, Red Willow. So uh, let's uh, go and level her up. There's no one more after that, is there? No. Right, we'll favourite her so we don't accidentally uh, delete her. Um, thankfully, Epic have implemented this where you level them up and you can go up like um, 10 levels at a time. It's something I mentioned in a video a long time ago how it'd be easy, you know, something like this would be a lot you know improve the game you know a lot and uh, we now have this so it's uh, quicker to uh, to level them up as you can see I do have plenty of uh, evolution materials and uh, training manuals and everything Didn't mean to uh, click off of that. Right, uh, where is she? There. And her standard perk is Holiday Surprise. At the end of phase shift, trigger an explosion dealing 20 base energy damage in a three quarter tile radius or 0.75. And uh, if you have her as your main hero, Holiday Surprise, at the end of phase shift, trigger an explosion, dealing 20 base energy damage in a 0.75 tile radius. Phase shift has a 60% chance to conjure a phantasm. Targets a nearby enemy dealing 62 base energy damage in a 0.5 or half tile radius, 1.5 seconds cooldown, or 1.5 seconds cooldown. Now, the... Um, Phantasm is great with um, Swamp Knight, as you saw in the in the uh, in the game I just played. I, I use Swamp Knight because because of that perk, it's um, you know it uh, makes a lot a lot of games a lot easier. 
and uh, makes him quite quite fun to to use right we're going to have to actually change around um, my loadout now just so that uh, now her abilities are face shift seismic smash and shock tower unfortunately she doesn't have teddy whereas the norm normal willow does have teddy uh, where is the normal willow there we go let's just swap around a minute the normal willow has seismic smash teddy and a face shift And we're actually going to use the Happy Holidays perk. I can buy it. Yeah, I must have. Yeah, there it is. Uh, we'll have Survivalist um, phased out. I've already written down written down what what I want uh, to be in this loadout. Should actually be on Outlanders because it's uh, probably easier because most most of these are actually Outlanders. I knew it's near towards the end. Phased out decreases phase shift cooldown by 25%, and that's in addition to the Happy Holidays because the Happy Holidays perk reduces your ability cooldown by 40%. So you've got your 40% cooldown on that. And then an extra 25% cooldown on that. So your your phase shift cooldown is 75%, which is massive. Um, what's next? Uh, fault line. I may actually put some else in here. I'm not 100% sure, but we'll just um... this this is one of the um, the. Uh, things I was talking about phase shift leave, leaves behind fireworks which deal three base energy damage per second and uh, you've also got the one with the uh, the eggs as well which is called unexpected departure I can find that probably already must have gone by it already There it is there. Phase shift leaves three egg bombs which deal 18 base damage to nearby enemies. Now, as I said, her, her you know, the explosion she leaves behind is, is meant to be pretty weak. So you could either have parting gift and or unexpected departure. I don't think you probably have both of these actually. Let's just um let's just have a look. Out of interest, if you could have Yes, you can. You can have the you can have the egg bombs and the fireworks. Ooh, I didn't know you could have both. I thought you could only have one or the other. Right. Um, what should we have now? Uh, faced and confused, which is increases the. Uh, it I did have four the other ones that I was going to put in were uh, fault line and uh, four on the floor which are both to do with the uh, the seismic smash but um, let's go with that because it's um, you've got your 75% cooldown on your face shift and you've also got uh, increases face, face shift maximum charges by one and then we've got these two in here as well which is uh, plus her ability on top of that so uh, that's going to be quite a uh, quite a loadout let's uh, go and give that a go shall we um, let's go back into that 64 again oh, we'll do 
do that one. Because I don't really need survivor XP. Uh, well, that's 260 odd million survivor XP. Yeah, the four on the floor, um, it leaves like a pulse, pulsating wave when you do the uh, the seismic smash. So uh, this is going to be interesting. Like I said, I didn't realise you could have the fireworks and the, the um, egg bombs and her ability as well. You know, with her explosion when she phase shifts. So it's all going to be going on behind her. I tend to normally do missions where I just do, you know, show show how I get get the actual hero. And um, I thought, you know, occasionally I'm going to I'm going to start doing videos where I actually show the, uh, the actual heroes in action as well. This will be handy, handy if you've, you know, you're, you're being crowded by enemies and you can just face shift to get away and uh, take a few of them out at the same time. So it's L1. killing things but remember I've got I've got basically three perks in one because you've got her actual perk as well and yeah two of them took out uh, one of them uh, shielded ones it's probably not a fair representation of her because I've got uh, parting gift and the uh, and the egg bombs as well. But as I said, it's apparently just her explosion ability. The end of phase shift is uh, it's pretty weak, from what I've um, heard. I tell you, these nurses are a pain at power level 160. Yeah a few of them together, they're impossible to kill because they just keep healing each other. old mission with uh, killing things with phase shift. Possibly. Right, we need to pick these samples up. Phantasm as well, 60% chance of the Phantasm, I think it was. Mm -hmm. 
I never used to be a fan of the uh, the old uh, shock tower, but uh, I am now. It's good if you've been um, if you've got a lot of enemies in a in a small small area, but uh, you can take care of the majority of them. Not all of them, but you know most of them. Yeah, I think I would probably go with. Um, oh, I must be uh, topped up on the shadow shard and quartz now. Um, a guy in a game the other day kindly actually uh, gave us some quartz because I get through so much of it, especially when I'm doing my uh, power level 160 missions. Because three of the four traps I use um, use quartz, so I'm getting through 70 to 100. Quartz, like in one in one gaming session, which is a lot. So there's no way you can like farm that in 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 a few days. Do you know what I mean? out there. I'm not sure if I need any ammo. I think I'm maxed out on that. I always try and keep things as near to max as possible. Yeah, so if you can, use, use the uh, parting gift or the, the egg bonds with the uh, red willow if you're, if you're able to. Seeing that though, I think the, um, the fireworks, the parting gift only does a flat like, 3 damage, whereas um, I think her ability does 20 damage per enemy. Completed the mission. Let's go get a few more. That happy holidays perk is it, it's a real game changer if you if you like using heroes with abilities. You know, I, I did a video about about that not so long ago, urging people to to make sure that they get that perk. Because it's not often you get a perk in a game that um, you know is you know. A real game changer and that uh, most certainly is yeah I gotta leave it I gotta leave it lying on the ground I've got to do my uh, pile of 160 missions I probably should have done a few of those first oh, and it's some more crystal oh I hate leaving it but uh, I would have to drop a stack of something else in order to uh, pick them up and uh, I'm not gonna do that Hello. I'll kill all of these with uh, just using my uh, ability. Not enough energy. Oh, because the uh, the nature.
Yep, there we go. Killed them all. Just using my uh, face shift. <laughs> take these ones out. I must admit, I prefer the firework one to the uh, to the egg bombs. Yeah, all three of them. Wow. But, uh, Just like. Don't think you'd actually be a hero I would use myself though, because I'd have to replace one of my uh, other loadouts. Some phantasm swirling around there. Five hundred and twelve enemies. Are you kidding? Really? I didn't realise it killed that many. Oh goodness! Oh, I was just getting into that. <laughs> have it red willow I think she you know she could be a fun one to use like I say if you, if you use both them other you know the parting gift and the unexpected uh, departure in your loadout and you've you know as you can saw that I killed over 500 enemies and didn't even realize I'd killed that many so uh, yeah it's uh, Quite cool that you can have her ability and uh, both of those as well. It uh, makes using her a lot more fun. Um, I will tell you which heroes you need for the unexpected departure and the uh, parting gift, just in case you did want to know. So the unexpected departure, you need Cottontail Eagle Eye. And for the parting gift, you need a Fire Flower Eagle Eye in order to get uh, both of those uh, perks. Well, I'm actually going to end this video there. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to smash that like button. If you're new to my channel, then why not subscribe? Hit the bell notification symbol and you may be notified when I publish new videos on YouTube. If you'd like to help out my channel, you can do so by sharing my videos on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, etc. Tell all your gaming friends about my channel. Help my channel to grow. If you'd like to help out my channel a little bit financially, I do have a Patreon account and you can pledge from just $1 a month. And there's a link to my Patreon in the description of all of my YouTube videos. And um, it's basically a cheap shout out. If you pledge a dollar a month, um, I will leave a link to your either your YouTube channel or your, um, your Twitch channel or social media, whatever you want. So uh, why not uh, just check out my Patreon? You know, it costs absolutely nothing to have a look at it. And um, at the end of the day, it, the, the more people that actually help out my channel, um, the sooner I'll be able to get to upgrade my broadband and uh, hopefully get into doing some live streaming. Because at the minute I can't, my uh, my uploads fail on a regular basis, which is uh, pretty frustrating. Um, I can't upload them overnight now. I have to actually be 
sat at the TV while they upload so that if they do fail to upload I can catch them and quick, quickly click on retry instead of having to start the upload again because it takes nine hours to upload a one hour video but uh, at least my um, my broadband is unlimited so uh, even though it's not great it's uh, it's um, I've not got like a um, an upload limit as such so thankfully um, otherwise um, I'd be in trouble um, another way you can help out my channel is uh, by watching the adverts on my videos um, you're not obliged to um, I do make my adverts skippable it's usually just like a uh, a short advert at the beginning of a video that might not be skippable but it'd be like a 10 second advert or something like that um, but do bear in mind that if you don't watch the adverts I don't get paid and um, it's it's actually nice to actually be earning a little bit of ad revenue you know it's, it's not a lot of money it's not enough to uh, to uh, put a deposit down on a Ferrari not quite yet anyway I can maybe get the key ring in a, in a couple of uh, years time <laughs> um, uh, and another way you can also help out my channel is is by uh, using my support a creator code which is exactly the same as my youtube gaming channel name starfish underscore central and again a big thank you to those of you both past and present who have been kind enough to use my code unfortunately i haven't reached the uh, the hundred dollar threshold yet to be paid for that so uh hopefully before the end of uh, 2021 i will get my uh first payment from for my uh, creator code but um every little bit bit helps so even if you don't buy a lot of things you know it you know it's going to help out my channel in the long term so uh, please consider using my uh, creator code if you're not supporting another creator you know because otherwise you, you're basically throwing away a little bit of money because you we get uh, i think it's five dollars for every uh, ten thousand v bucks that's spent so um it's not a lot but it's uh, better than a kick in the teeth so to, so to speak many thanks for watching i want to see you guys in the next video bye bye for now <laughs>